Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got um, a vintage coach bag, uh, I guess, switch with me um, video. So here I got my vintage coach station, um, style number 5130 in black and brass hardware. And I've got my stuff in there right now. Um, I'm going to be putting it here in my prairie. So the prairie style number is 9954. Also black with brass hardware. So um, the prairie I actually just finished uh, rehabbing um, literally like a few, <laughs> maybe half an hour ago. Um, so this one came really beat up um, from, uh, from a local seller. I didn't have much pictures before I picked it up, but um, I did have the picture of the Creed, so I know it's authentic. Uh, but um, the back part of it was really, really damaged. And I'll show you guys uh, what I mean. So if you haven't seen my unboxing video, this part um, had a burst uh, piping. So if you see there, I'm, I'll close up. Um, this one was... It literally had a hole in it, um, and I, I put um, puffy paint to seal it up. Um, I could have also used leather glue, but I think the puffy paint actually works better because with the glue, eventually the leather pulls away from the glue, and then you get, you know, your hole back. <laughs> so with puffy paint, it's not the, you know, it's not the ideal repair. Ideally, you'd want to actually like repair it with leather, but I don't have the skills nor the tools to do that. So um, for now, I actually just, I'm happy with this one. At least it's not exposed. Um, if ever I need to reapply, I'll just reapply. It's very easy and it's very cheap. So yeah. So, so yeah. So overall, this is the result. Like it's all nice and clean now. Um... The hardware is polished, um, everything's like clean and conditioned properly. The hang tag's right here. And inside, I'll just show you quickly. Um, so that's raw leather right there. And it's got the same setup as the court. So one pocket in the front, which is a very, very generous pocket. So it is a pretty wide and pretty deep pocket. You can actually put more than your phone here, so it's nice and uh, nice and wide and deep. And then in the main compartment, it's uh, just a standard um, zippered pocket at the back and raw leather on the inside. And the Creed is right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's 9954. This one is made in 1995 in the United States. I just saw it. So everything's nice and polished. Um, we're gonna go through the station and put my stuff in the prairie. Um, you know, as always, I've got my standard stuff. I don't, I don't carry a lot really. So let's go through it. Um, here on the uh, front pocket of the station, so it's it's got a gusseted pocket as well, similar to the to the prairie. But I think the prairie is actually like much like this is like this is narrower. So here I just got wipes put that in the front here and I've got my phone because the station doesn't have a back pocket um, for the phone so you know standard iPhone 10 not the max size I'm gonna put it at the back here of the of the state uh, of the prairie so it fits nice and you know there's still lots of space if you have the max then or maybe a, a bigger phone than the Max, <laughs> a Note, <laughs> or uh, what do you call that? Um, an iPad Mini would probably fit too, because it's it's so big. Um, but yeah, so that one fits just fine. And then so there's nothing in the front pocket of the station. Inside here, I got just my three items. I got my sippy cup right here, um, my mini wallet, and a Coach coin purse. So let's just transfer that over. So this one's just water put in there just fine um, my wallets my fossil wallet that I'm using right now because I'm using my black bags and the last one oh yeah my keys too keys I'll put in the front right here so right there and 
my coin purse. So this is just a round coin purse from Coach. Um, standard size. Same size as the Louis Vuitton um, round coin purse. So there you go. So there's still a bit of space here on the side. If you have like sunglasses or eyeglasses, you can probably still fit it in here. No problem standing up or even like laid like this. Um, it's also fine because um, as you can see like the top of the sippy is not even like at the top of the um, This main compartment this one I got it standing up if I lay it like this It's still fine as well, and you can put more stuff in the front pocket um, If you have two phones, then it's perfect You can put one in here and one at the back and the keys are right here and then close it and voila um, of course it all fits because I don't carry a lot, but, um, let's close the station. They're all, they're both nice bags. Um, as I said about my previous video about the station, I do prefer, uh, wide bags over tall bags like this. Just because, you know, it's easier to access all your things when they're not stacked up together. So... Lastly, I think um, I'd show you the um, shoulder strap. So this is a non-detachable shoulder strap. It's actually buckled into the D-ring on the side there. But it is adjustable. So here I got in the middle setting. I think there is... How many settings? I think there's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five holes um, in this bag. Similar to the station, there's also five in the station, but the station strap is actually, I think, longer. And because uh, it is a long bag, like long like this, um, even if it's at the long or even if it's at the shortest setting, I still have to maybe punch more holes here if I wanted it to be to sit higher on me. Um, whereas the prairie. I put it in the middle setting and it sits just fine. So because there's no, because it's you know, it, it, I think it is overall um, uh, a wider bag than longer like this. So yeah. Anyway, um, hope you like this video. Um, if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I mainly do handbag videos and SLGs, and lately I've been into Vintage Coach. Um, so if you're also into that, I'd love to have you here. So please do subscribe, and thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye!